Is it possible to get a one-off custom car to get a carb exemption? So I have a car and I wanna make it carb legal. My one car, I just want my car legal. Yes, there is a big asterisk on that. You have to follow all the rules. For example, if you're doing an engine swap qualifier, cause I'm a little fuzzy on this, but my understanding is you have to bring all of the emissions components from that donor vehicle over to your car. And then you have to take that car to a referee who's going to look at it, who's going to examine it. It's not going to be subjected to the same tests as we are, but it is going to be examined, inspected much more closely than just going in for a tailpipe test. If you satisfy all of those rules, then you will get a sticker that says this car is legal. You know, for example, there's a customer that put a V8 in an NA or an NB and wanted it legal in California. So that customer put basically that entire Camaro emissions wise. So that includes the ECU, that includes the headers, that includes the cats, all of that. They put that entire car within their Miata. They didn't have an EO for that, but they did follow the rules. So they went to an inspector or referee. The referee said, yep, check, 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 check. Okay, here's your sticker. Your car is legal. Kind of along those lines, we built a car a while ago with a V8 that had an EO for that engine in a pre-OBD2 car, whatever it was. So technically that customer did not need to go to a referee because everything in that car had an EO to start off with. That said, you pop the hood on your Miata that definitely did not come with a V8 and your just kind of normal inspector sees a V8, their head's gonna explode. They're gonna assume that that uh, sticker is made up and they're gonna reject you right off. So he went to a referee just to get the fancy sticker to say, no, for real, this is legal and then he was good to go. Yeah.